Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about custom film. Now this video is gonna be probably really short, but we've had a lot of inquiries about our custom film and how to use it, how to work with it, things like that. So we thought we'd shoot a quick little video and show you guys mainly on how to remove the backing of the film. Now, of course, if you've got any of our custom film before, you'll know that it does have a backing on the back side of it. So that way it can help everything be a lot more firmer as it's getting printed. And so with something like that, whenever you're laying it down into the water, you do want to pull that backing off. So let's take a look at what all we need to look at whenever we're removing the backing. So that way you can be prepared as possible whenever you get your custom film in. Now, this is going to be one of our custom films that we've already, of course, cut off of. Uh, we do have just some remnants around here. And so a couple of things to notice is that, of course, you can see here on this edge, you can just pull that back like that very easily and then it pulls it right off. Now, a couple of things to look at if you cannot grab an edge right there, uh, I would suggest maybe moving on to a different edge. And so as you can see by pulling off this edge right here, the film comes off very easily and then now we have the two layers just like that. So a couple of things to note whenever you're pulling the backing off. So of course you can easily pull this off just like this and normally it comes off very easily. Now, one thing that you do want to keep in mind is that you want to try to make sure that you keep this material in a climate controlled area because this is very moisture sensitive. And so as you can tell right now, the film is actually already starting to curl up and roll up just like so. And you can see it on these edges here, these edges here, sometimes it's worse, sometimes it's not as bad, but uh, at some point this film will want to start curling up. So a couple of things that you can do to help prevent that now if you've already pulled the backing off you can of course take any type of tape that you would like like this right here and then we can cinch it down just like so and then we can go through here and then create our own divider or border all the way around so maybe we do this on the top and the bottom just like this right here. And so now we have a taped border across just these two edges, or if you would like, and you do not have a very good divider system, then it is highly recommended to go ahead and tape all of it just like so. So that way you can create your own dividers all the way around the film. And you'll notice that all of the tape edges around in here are all overlapping all the way around. So this is again, another remnant piece that we have. Now, a couple of things is that this already still has the backing on it. And so one thing that you can do is, is that you can always tape this before you pull the backing off. And that will be a little bit easier to work with. So what you can do is, is tape this just like this, where you need it at. And then what we can do is of course, tape off or cut, I'm sorry, cut these into the squares that we need. Now, again, we still have the backing that's on this. So again, we can actually make the use of the tape a lot easier to where now, if we just pull this tape back just that little bit, it actually will grab the PVA and peel that back already. So that makes it really nice because then you can have a tab right there and then you can peel that back just like that, making it super easy to peel all that off. And then of course, whenever we lay it down in the water, we already know that the backing side, this side right here, is gonna go down on the water. And of course, this is the printed side. So we can easily pick this up, lay this down in the water just like that, dip our part, very easy, very manageable. So hopefully this video has really helped you guys out. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, and definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you on anything hydrographics related, as well as if you have any other questions about our custom film, we'd always love to hear about that as well. Also, if you haven't already, definitely check out the website. The links are gonna be in the description below. It has everything that you need for the water transfer printing, including tanks, training, of course, the custom film that we sell, and anything else that you're gonna need for this process, it's all there on the website. So definitely check that out. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.